Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Sure. How are you? All right. Good. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good. Okay. I'm going to wait a little bit for the others. Uh, Eduardo, how is everything now? Much better? It's much better. Okay. No I'm problem. ready. No problem now with the COVID? It's gone. No, no, no. Eh, el, ayer lo que tuve fue trabajo. <laughs> okay. Very hard. Very hard work. But from yeah. your house or, from, or in the office? In, in my house. Uh, yeah. Homework. Okay, good. But I, I hear. Ready. Okay, that's good. Okay, let me. Okay, now we're going to go to the platform. Let me see that we have a technical issue in this moment. This one. Okay, here it is. Okay, good. <clears throat> Finally. There were too many windows open. Okay, so yesterday we were practicing with the reading, right? Yes. 
Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay, who wants to do that forever? Okay. Soap opera <clears throat> and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first ink. Okay, now we're going to have another practice of pronunciation. Okay, uh, Eduardo, please read the first paragraph. Alan, you read the second. Okay, uh, let's see. Santos, you read the third one. Grisela, the fourth. Nancy, the fifth. Okay, and who else do we have? You know any? You read the last one. Okay, go ahead. Eduardo, your microphone. Now, yes. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined at the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he, but he did, did not work for a year. He was very frustrated. Frustrated. So, frustrated. so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. So afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. Eight after after the sources, the movies back to the USA. To the US. Okay, very good. You said that? Oh, no, Santo, who was the next one? Yes, Grisela, right? Okay. Max, can you read this part? Back. Okay. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, sir. Okay. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. Okay, good. Just that? Yes. Who was the next one? Oh. Nancy or, yes, Nancy, right? That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. Okay, good. Noemi? Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard. And he still loved singing, as he said to a reporter for the newspaper. 
use today. I USA. want to USA today. I want to do this forever. I want to do this forever. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right. What about the next one? Questions. The next part is questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, expression. No? No. Okay, good. Then the last one. Yesenia, you read the first one. Tatiana, the second paragraph. Claudia, the third one. Eliezer, back in the US, the fourth. Steve, the fifth. Veronica Flores, the last one. Okay? Go ahead. Yesenia first. Okay. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, was it Yesenia or Tatiana? Yesenia. Oh, Yesenia is speaking. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Uh, he, he was always a performer as a child. He uh, upper, upper, appeared. appeared in television, commercials, and studio singing. Singing. Okay. Next. At the, mm -hmm. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard with them. Um, he became very well now, but he left the group after five years. Good. Next one. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a, a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Okay, next one. Back in the U.S., he operated on an American soap opera in the Broadway show as Miserables. Then he made him first English language album. Very good. The next. That album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living Like the Loca, was on that album. Good. Now he is... Continue? Uh, no, I think there is one person more. Who's the other person? He disappeared from here. Steve. Steve, okay. Uh, yes. uh, that album was called Ricky Martin. And now, now he's famous, the last one. Oh, okay. Uh, now, now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing, as he said to a report, reporter, or reporter, reporter, for the newspaper USA Today. I want to do this forever. I want to do this forever. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, what else do we have? Let's see. Okay, so English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay. Okay, so we have here some answers. 
to get from that reading, it says knowledge check. Go back and read the article, uh, Ricky Martin, and select the best answer for each question. When was Ricky Martin born? On December 24th, 1971. On December. On December 24th. Remember, on December 24th, 1971. 1971. Okay. Where was Ricky Martin? And when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. Twelve. Twelve years old. Twelve years old. He was twelve years old. He was twelve years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Okay, if you don't hear answer, we never say he had twelve, right? He was 12 years old. He was. He was 12 years old. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was frustrated. Frustrated. Because he was frustrated. Because he was frustrated. Okay, so you see when, time, date, date. where, place, place, San Juan Puerto Rico, how old, the age, of your soul. Why did Ricky Martin move? Why? The uh, reason. The reason. Uh -huh, the reason why. So we want to know why he did it. Okay. Well, why was that? Uh, what were the purpose? What was the purpose that he had? Okay. Now let's see the answers. You can see on December 24th in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Now this this is this one this one and this one one two and four are short answers right because you can say he was born on December okay twenty fourth nineteen twenty one or the other one is he was born in San Juan Puerto Rico so you can you you can add he was born. Uh, he was 12 years old, it's a complete sentence. And this one, why did Richard Martin move to Mexico? He moved, okay, you can use the past tense, he moved to uh, Mexico because he was frustrated. Okay, remember that there are different forms, right? Different forms to express your knowledge and and the meaning, right, of different things. Questions about vocabulary from here? No. Okay, I think this is the last one. Okay, because after that you have some, uh, the final exam. And here probably you have uh, some issues. Okay, here. Okay, we have the listening says where Helen. Okay, this one is something that you can. Eh, ya parte del test. Bueno, sí. que la mayoría sí, ¿verdad? Ok, they sí. didn't know how to do it. Yes. This is only about to test your ability. Uh, probably complete the sentences here. I don't know if you have this one, for example. Aquí creo que tenía alguien un problema, ¿verdad? And then you say, for example. Que un par de ubicaciones no, no corresponden uh -huh. con las calles. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, está todo cruzado. Yes, teacher, en la... Yes, Hay que buscarle. Which wow. one? Tengo que, que buscarle no para pegado. sacar 10. Ajá. Sí, no pegado. The department store is, according to the map... On, on. Okay, it's on Main Street, right? So mm -hmm. go to the map. Okay, this is the department street. It's here, sorry. Yeah. Okay, it's the... Uh, the From North Main Street. 
main street home. Okay, but according to the test, you didn't get any, right? Uh, yes. This was so on. Okay, this is supposed to be the correct one. Mm -hmm. The first is correct. Okay, and uh, the other one is? Is, uh, is between it's green it's and green, park. Green and park. Between uh -huh. green. It's between it's green and park. Sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. It's between green and street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see the green. Uh -huh, exactly, uh -huh. that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is because the one this of... Is because this is center, center uh -huh. strip. Second, yes. second, uh -huh. second third, uh -huh. first, uh -huh. first uh -huh. main. Okay? Uh -huh. And park is here. So then... Uh, I, I think, I thought uh -huh. it's a, across park. Across, I yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Across, I but I, I I put across and fail, mm -hmm. uh, pero I don't see green, así que this is a one observation. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, That's why I, I uh, the next one is is the next one is in more. Look, the department mm -hmm. store is across from the bank. Y, y, yes, yes, next, next two. two. Next two uh -huh. is correct. But uh -huh. But it's next time, next is to the back. Exactly. Okay, across from uh -huh. is the park. Exacto. Uh -huh. Across of is the park. Está you are right. Cruz, cruzado. Ajá, como que. O lo tomaron de otro mapa. Ajá, cabal. Or, or probably, you know. Yes, because I think so. I think that probably they took the information from a different map and they put the, the same map that we have on the platform. Ajá, uh -huh. another picture. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. And then the other one is the restaurant is next to next, next to, uh, next no. to the department store and the restaurant is uh -huh, there here, there, right? Yeah, uh -huh. so correct. Next to the bank. Next right. to the bank. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, the, the restaurant on is second, on second and I uh, know on in, the corner of in the corner, corner of the second of, avenue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In, in second main avenue. street or it's second on avenue. main street and on the corner of main street and second avenue. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay, or you can say between second and first, right? Mm -hmm. There are different forms, but it's not next to the department store. Next to the, the, the department store. Okay. So then the next one is. Uh, next to. Select an answer. Next to, right? The restaurant is next to. Okay. So you imagine this is a. Because you can say the restaurant is next to Main Street and Green Avenue. Well, Green uh, Avenue no exists. Uh -huh. No, okay. no star, no place anymore. Yes, the name has to be the building next to between. Okay. I do for the scarters. La que quedaba. Yes, acabamos. Elimination, uh, elimination process. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, elimination process. Exactly, and the uh, and that was, for example, on the corner of the corner of. Okay, so the restaurant is the apartment store, and then the restaurant is Main Street and Green Avenue. But I don't know. No, it's different. I don't remember. I think that that probably there there is another map in another video that it was more uh, extends. Probably that one, but but in this one I don't see green. Okay. But then, but you found the solution. You found the, the answers, right? Um, in some cases, yes. Okay. Just remember the first one is on Main Street, not according to the map, but it says between Green and Park. And then here we have across from the park. This one is across from the bank, no. And the restaurant is next to the county store. Okay, prepositions. Then in this case was, were your parents born in the US? What is a possible answer? 
what is the most logical answer? The first one, right? So here, what you have to do this is another one about eliminating. No, they weren't. They were. No, they weren't. They were. They were. They were. Yes, no question. Right? It's a yes, no question. Then the only one that begins with no is this one. No. They were. They were. Oh, they were. Uh -huh. and no, they were. My parents were born, were born in Japan. Were born in Japan. Okay. So then the next one is. I grew up. 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 I grew up in Tokyo. In Tokyo. Then you, you follow the logic of the bird, right? No. I grew up. Uh -huh. Who was the first? Who was the teacher? My first. My first English teacher. My first teacher. My first. My first teacher. My first English teacher was Mister Sal. Yes. My first. My first. Oh yeah, that is that's German. That's German. Uh, okay. No, that's. That's a, that's a typo. No this typo. Is, this is made in room fast. Typo is like a. Uh, error de dedo, right? First. Mm -hmm. Type. Yes, type. Then first, who was your first? This is correct. And yes. um, where did you come to New York? I came to New I York. I came to New York. Sure. Nineteen ninety-eight. 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 And then, how was your first day? It in was a little scary. I was a little, yes, I really scared. Scared. like to describe a personal expression, right? A personal feeling. A little <laughs> okay, then we have a uh, match the verb to the noun. Okay. Instruction, match the verb with the correct word. Okay. Had. Picnic. Had a picnic. Had a picnic, right? Then this where the word like play. 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 You can play. In the, there are, say you can combine it with many words. But in this case, is. Tennis is like the most logical, right? Yeah. Took photos. Took a photo. Photos, uh -huh. photos. Pictures. Photos. Some other things. Oh, when? When swimming. Swimming. Okay, swimming. when swimming. Remember, this is the expression, right? Go swimming. swimming. In present, you are um, outdoor activities with go. Go playing. Don't, don't forget this one, right? Go swimming. Go swimming. Go dancing, go bird watching, bird watching, go jogging, uh, go, go sailing, go riding, okay? okay? And then you can have all those. And let me see what else. So, play. A play. So, a play. So, okay. A play, remember, is going to be when we're talking about what? Ah. In the theater, right? On the theater. How when you go to the theater, you know when you can see sometimes <laughs> uh, Cinderella. Uh, what is the one? Uh, Hamlet. Okay, you can go and see this place that you no know, with real actors, right? There are some places here in the Salvador, I guess, which is Ugly Betty. Who? Ugly Betty. Uh huh. But there are some others here in Salvador too, right? Uh, I don't remember. What was the name of this guy? Well, but there is a. The Mutimun used to have some uh -huh. some place. Some of them were uh, comedy, right? But there were some others that were more more serious, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And then there was this. Then we have here conversations. What would be the first one if I select the correct form of the that one? Mm. 
did you have? <clears throat> right? These are questions that, right, that you need to, you know, like to remember, right? To, to have them in your, in your vocabulary every day. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good okay. weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Okay. Did you have a good trip? When people travel, right? Okay. Uh, did you have a good class? Uh, what else could it be? Did you have a good... Uh, a good friend. A good, huh? Did you have a good friend? Or did you meet a good friend? Okay. Did you have, did you have a good friend in the school? In the school. Uh, did you have a good friend in the university? <clears throat> okay. Next one, not really. Did you have a good friend? I studied. Okay. Not really. I studied all weekend. All weekend. Not really. I was sick all weekend. Or not did really. Do. I was, or you can say yes, I was sleeping all weekend. Or not really. I was uh, acting all weekend. Or not really. I was at home all weekend. Okay. Or not really, I was waiting for for some money on the weekend, and the money never came. Okay, and then you can see the other one. What is this one? Did they do? Did they do anything last weekend? He said, did they? Did they do? Did they, did they, did they, did they do? do? This is the most logical, right? Because if you say, did they? There is no verb, there is no action. Did they do anything last weekend? Oh, yes. You say, yes. They? Yes. They went. They went, right? They went hiking in the woods. In the woods. Okay. Number three. Number three. Did they go to the Did she get anything at the mall? Did she get? Did she get anything at the mall? No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy. Didn't didn't buy. Okay. Then there is a reading. Okay, then we have to read. Come along and then answer this comprehension. Okay, read for example the article and ask the question. And that's it. Very easy. Okay. How many how many of you already finished the did everybody finish the the test or the exercises on the platform? Yes? Yes. Did you did you get the did you get the diploma? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, good. All right. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. Then uh, don't forget the the commercial. <laughs> the commercial here is that um, the, the the let's say the sooner the sooner you finish what I'm then also wait, wait a minute. Okay. What topic? If you let's say the what topic you uh, the, the exercises, the faster we're going to start the other, the other level, right? Because if you take more time, then if you finish next week, then uh, you have to collect the document from the company, then send them to Inglés Corporativo, and then after that it's going to take like one week, and then in two weeks you start, and then that slows the process. Okay, that's why it is important that you finish this quickly on Friday and then the next week is for documents and then probably in the first week of September, the second, second week of September, the seven or eight, I guess, 
then you will start with the other level, which is pre-intermediate, I guess, right? The next level that you have, because in this moment you are in, uh, this is incipient stress, right? So that's like beginning three. So the next one is the pre-intermediate one, okay? And then the comments, how do you feel in this moment with the level of English? What else do you need? What do you think you need to improve your English and to learn more? Okay, I hear you guys. Tell me. This is, you know, like a self-test, an auto-examen, right? What are some things that you, th you think you are strong enough que tienen fortaleza, right? And other things that you feel that you need to probably, you know, you, you, you need, to, uh, let's say, to reinforce. Ubíquense en su nivel. ¿Qué necesitan como reforzar, right? Can I try teach, sir? Yes, Max, tell me. Okay, I think for me, my stronger is the, the grammar. Your, your I strength. Like uh -huh. Grammar. Yeah. And I need to reinforce and uh, the rule for irregular verbs and pronunciation. Mm. Okay. That. Good. So we have pronunciation and you said what? Uh, uh, again. Practice about the rule about irregular verb for to form past participle and past tense, yeah? Uh, okay. to, to, check, to check another another time the, the real gamma rule about gamma regular rule. verbs. That's important and, and memorize more verbs, yeah? Okay. I, I, I think that for me. No, it's okay, no problem. Good, anybody else? Me, teacher. Yes, Eduardo. I need uh, to learn and practice about verbs, irregular and regular, and their conjugations. Okay, good. Okay, one more. Me, teacher. Okay, Veronica. Yes. I need I need to learn the verbs in different tenses and pronunciation. And pronunciation. Okay, good. And what else? Who else? Who else? No sean tibios. Say it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yes, uh, Tatiana. <laughs> well, veía que estaba levantando um, la mano. Nunca la he visto la. la veía, but I haven't seen your faces, guys. Nunca la he visto. Uh, no. Voy a tomar una foto al final para que todos enciendan la cámara. <laughs> la, la clase de la promo. <laughs> Te va a hacer la foto de la promo. Okay, go ahead. Well, well um, the truth is that I have learned a lot, but um, I need I need learn many verbs, but I have to keep trying trying the verbs, many verbs. Okay. Um, um, verbs irregular. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Good. <laughs> no, yes, yes, yes. Mira, o sea, eh, al nivel que tienen, yo creo que tienen mucha, eh, ya, o sea, yo escucho, cuando los escucho hablar y pronunciar, no veo que, o sea, la, la mayoría, el 90% lo escucho muy bien. O sea, no les puedo decir que, tal vez algunos sí, siento que tal vez pueda tener un poquito más de, de dificultad, pero eso es a base de pura práctica que lo van a mejorar. 
eh, cuando se expresan en inglés, yo siento que puede haber ahí detalles de alguna estructura que les hizo falta una forma o algo, pero se dan a entender muy bien, ¿ok? Lo que sí siento es que les falta a veces, en muchos casos, siento que es como seguridad, como que se sienten como, eh, no sé si me voy a equivocar. Uh -huh. Ok, si es eso, no problem. Yo uh -huh. sé que incluso en español cometemos unas, unos errores gra graves, digamos, porque es nuestro idioma. Porque todavía no, sino, sí, y, y todavía es nuestro idioma. Entonces, then, eh, si lo hacemos en inglés y aprendiendo en un nivel de esto, o sea, yo creo que tienen mucha, o sea, hay, hay mucho potencial, pero no sé, no sé, que, que no les dé eso como, no se sientan cohibidos, right? Don't worry about it. Eh, Uno de, de los detalles es, eh, listen and imitate. Uh -huh. Listen, uh -huh, repeat, and when you repeat, you imitate. Okay, okay that's why, it, for example, for the practice of the verb, tienen el link del video que les mandé la vez pasada, o sea, con ese pueden aprender muchísimo de los verbos, solo con ese video. And uh, don't worry about uh, uh, learning more verbs. Si tienen uh, la habilidad de memorizar y les gusta, memoricen. Pero el consejo que les doy es que la mejor forma de aprender verbos y vocabulario es, ¿cómo? Hablando. No. Speaking. Usando. Practice. Practice, yes. Y usándolo con cosas que uno pasa en la vida diaria. Mm -hmm. ¿Okay? Si ustedes ven un verbo, el verbo, por ejemplo, bueno, si hablamos del verbo ahorita, eh, teach, el presente, teach. I teach English. ¿Ok? Pero yo lo puedo usar en mi, en, para practicar el verbo, ¿cómo harían ustedes en pasado? Today, I taught. My father, how to use his cell phone. ¿Es algo que hacemos o no? Yeah. Every day, right? Hoy le enseñé a mi papá a usar el celular. Today I taught my father to use his cell phone. Today I taught my daughter to be patient. ¿Se entiende la, la frase? Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Y son, son frases que pueden usar ustedes, vocabulario que conocen? Yes. So, what do you need? Speak, okay? So, then in the, in the next classes that you begin, in the next level, always try to speak English. Los profesores siempre entendemos, algunas veces puede ser que haya, um, cuesta un poquito más, pero ustedes traten siempre de hacerlo en inglés. All the time. Okay, aunque digan... Uh, si se equivocó, pues, no problem. Un niño, cuando nace y empieza a hablar, nunca habla perfectamente en su propio idioma. ¿Han oído ustedes a sus hijos, los que tienen, o hermanitos, sobrinos, que hablen perfectamente a los tres años? O que pronuncien perfectamente. No, no. Right? Entonces, aquí no te llevamos a ningún proceso. Right? So then it's the same process, right? So we... We have to learn, practice, read, uh, get vocabulary, so many new things. Okay? Then uh, pronunciation, listen. Okay? Watch, uh, now you have Netflix in your house. Or, or internet, YouTube. You can watch movies or read. In YouTube, you can find uh, e-books or, or audio books in, in YouTube. You write, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, Sleeping Beauty, Bella Durmiente, right? How do you see the letters, you see the, the captions, and you listen. Se hizo está leyendo el libro, learning vocabulary, listening the pronunciation, uh, let's say training your ear, and you are also forcing your brain to think in English. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasa con nuestro cerebro a veces? Es muy cómodo, right? So we have a, a comfort zone. When you have a movie, when you have a movie, 
Eh, let's say when you're watching Netflix, a movie in English. ¿Qué pasa a los cinco minutos? Le cambia. Le cambiamos el idioma, teacher, a ¿Qué español. Cambia? ¿Por qué? <risa> the language. Porque no le entendemos. Uh -huh. Exacto, ok. Y muchas veces en español igual hay muchas cosas que no recordamos al final de la película. Recordamos nada más la idea principal de qué se trataba, pero en detalle muy poca gente nos van a decir, ah, no, mira, esto es aquí y allá, o al menos que la vea cinco o seis veces la película. Sí, okay. Bien, eh, entonces ese es el punto, sacar al cerebro del, de la zona de confort forzarlo a que piense en inglés o a que se acostumbre a escuchar inglés. Ok, así que yo sé que los primeros cinco minutos hay una frustración, hay enojo, ira, eh, los siete sí, pecados sí. capitales aparecen ahí. Right. Because you don't understand and then there are many reactions. Don't worry. Okay, just... okay at least, at least 20 minutes. Hagan la prueba por lo menos 20 minutos hacer el esfuerzo y ahí lo pueden cambiar en Spanish okay, you can switch to Spanish but then again, the next time pueden volver a ver la misma película ok, pero que ya no, que ya no los primeros 20 minutos en el idioma que no la vieron en español y el resto luego la ven en inglés o sea, la idea es ir viendo y se dan cuenta que bueno, menos que ya había entendido esa parte entonces es cuestión de, de acostumbrarse ok cuestión de ser uh -huh. el cerebro central. Hay que encontrar estrategias, right? The one that you think the world. And, and the other one is repeat. Okay, in music. Sing in English. Sing in English. Something in English. Okay, mm -hmm. When you sing in English, then also you practice the pronunciation. You listen, mm -hmm. and you repeat. And imitate. Mm -hmm. Okay? And learn vocabulary. And read. I think with, with a song, you read, listen, speak, and understand. So look all the, the, all the abilities, all the skills that you practice with a song. Can okay, you play a song? Oh, good, nice song. Then you are repeating. You are learning new vocabulary. Okay, and si tiene la letra, then you are reading. Okay, let, and that, that's it. Okay. You can do that in YouTube. If you're in, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Spotify. What is the other one? Apple Music. Uh, the Deezer, I guess. I don't remember. There are some other apps that you can listen to the song in your cell phone. And you have no tiempo pueden estar viendo la, la letra. Okay, or karaoke. Okay, yeah. karaoke also then you can find in YouTube in English. So all these things, you know, don't, no desperdicen todas las herramientas that you have para, you know, like to have fun, right? Para divertirse y, y aprender. Okay, any other comments? Teacher. Yes, Veronica. Eh, uh, no sé si me puede ayudar. Fíjese de que... I don't know, en... I don't know if you can help me. Try in English, Veronica. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> help me, know. please. I Help me, know. please. <laughs> Help me, please. I don't know if uh, you can help. Yesterday, uh -huh. yesterday, uh, the, the, very, the very regular, uh, re irregular platform, uh -huh. uh, for example, um, <laughs> uh -huh. este, what, what's good? Okay. Que, como le digo, que si me puede mandar el link. <laughs> yes, it was, it was a good, it was a good platform. A link in okay. link in the bear. Link in the bear. Look at this one. You go to Anil. Let me see here. Then you go. Look at this one. Ego. Ego for you. Ego. Ego for you. Can you see? Uh -huh. Yes? Yes. Then ego for you. Click. And here you have grammar. Grammar, you have uh, lo que quieras, right? You have here uh, 
exercises, irregular verbs, simple present, present simple, progressive. Está proyectando porque no se mira. No se ve. You don't see it? No, no. no, no, teacher. Solo sale la pantalla donde aparece I got internet. Okay. The only browser. Let me see. ¿Qué veían? The top of the browser. The browser only. The browser. Now? Now, yes. Now, yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. yes. But, but then here. Ahorita se los. Ah, pero tengo que abrir. No tengo el chat. Ahorita voy a ver todo el link. Uh, okay, but we can do it in the chat for the group. No, Digo here. for you. That Digo for you. C M. Okay, Plica. there you go. That's it. En el chat lo tienen ahorita en el de aquí del. Okay. Ya está ahorita y lo pueden copiar. And then here, I was telling you. Aquí les está viendo that you can find whatever you want. Tenses, los verbos. Okay, gramaticales, hasta alemán tienen aquí. Conditionals, que los van a ver más adelante. Los mandó el teacher, disculpe. Ahí están, pero en el chat ahorita de aquí de la clase. ¿Ya lo tienen? No, es que no lo logré ver. Disculpe. Take a screen. Wait, wait, wait. Take a pin. In Take a screen. Can you see And the WhatsApp? Open. What do you see in this moment in your? Uh, that's it. The, the URL on the WhatsApp. Okay. Check your, check okay. your WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. No problem. Okay. So then here you can find uh, conditional, confusing, los algunas de ejercicios que pueden dar a, a confusiones, right? Eh, si quieren gramática, si quieren writing, si quieren escribir, comas, intuition, full stop, semicolon, dashes, si quieren hacer una carta de negocios, right? Vocabulary, numbers, English time, English date, meeting people, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, what's your name, my name. Just vocabulary for meeting people. Say goodbye, goodbye, bye, see you, see you later, see you soon, see you tomorrow. This is vocabulary one. Okay, what else? Okay, if you want a test, quieren examinarte. Present progressive, but you can a simple task, level one. El más facilito. Simple task. Aquí tienen que escribir verb has in, in past. Lo van llenando. Ejercicios, 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 ejercicios. Si no, check your answers. Aquí mismo les da la respuesta. Yes. Okay, for example, this page can help next week. La otra semana que no tengan clase pueden darse gusto acá. Right, and countries. I want to know about the United Kingdom. You can say, for example, in tour around Great Britain, Edinburgh. Y ahí les habla de Edinburgh. Y después les hacen el examencito. Así como lo de Ricky Martin, lecturas, right? Short. Okay. So this kind of uh, exercise can help you to, you know, to, to practice, uh, learn vocabulary. With that one and with the video for pronunciation of the past tense, para la próxima semana tienen para ser expertos. Yes? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you teacher, for all. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No, gracias a usted. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Por aguantar hasta, hasta, hasta la cena después de las 8. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then. A ver si nos vemos a un nivel más adelante, ¿ok?
Great. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. May God bye bless bye. you too. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye bye.